Hello again everyone and welcome to another demonstration of Scavenger SV4. To begin, I'd like to extend my thanks once again to those who have left feedback on my YouTube channel. Lewis Hadley and Wicked CRK, thank you for your kind comments. Today's run through is in response to a comment from user Elkater955. Uh, this user has suggested that I experiment with alternative loadouts on the rover as I explore the planet's surface. So we're going to experiment a bit and see what we find out. So let's get started. I don't think I need to examine the backstory of our character. So let's get our link going with the rover. Now as you can see, we have a microphone, we have a radio receiver, we do not have a power controller. And I did that to make room for the radio receiver and still give us four slots. My reasoning is I can grab four artifacts from the surface, then bring those back, use the science computer's four research slots to study those. That way we don't have a backlog of things to research. I'm going to turn off the microphone to conserve power and launch. Now hopefully the not using the microphone will enable us to conserve power because without a power controller we're going to have less than efficient power usage. I'll have to mind that. Also turning off the microphone will spare us from having to hear the roar of the rocket engines as we descend. We can already hear some radio noise. Okay, we're down. We've got a few artifacts nearby, so let's make use of that. That's one artifact. And I think we have a fourth derelict over this way.
Okay, good. Let's recall the rover. We have some other artifacts that we can grab once we return. Let's get some medical treatment. That gives us some time. So any minute now, the rover will come aboard. We'll be able to unload the cargo into the science lab, get the research going, and send the rover back for another run. Meanwhile, I think I'll move the power controller and the compass. And let's unload the rover. And get those cycled to the lab. All right, let's launch the rover again. So far, we don't seem to be suffering too much from the lack of a power controller. According to the manual, the power controller enables us to use energy more efficiently, and it allows the rover to prioritize certain systems like the drive system, the communications link, and other systems. I think not having the microphone on helps. If I were to turn on the microphone, I'd probably be drinking through my reserve battery and I would have to use the auxiliary generator to recharge it. We've got a few derelicts nearby. Let's see what we can do here. Looks like the science computer has identified one artifact as a laser. And it looks like we have another derelict by the water. Two, in fact. Is this an artifact or is this just crystals? That looks like crystals. Ooh, you hear that? Well, whatever I just picked up was generating radio noise, and it went silent the moment I brought it into the rover. Let's cruise over here and see what we can pick up. It 
Oh, it looks like we were already here. And we have an EMP bomb of some kind. That's crystals. Okay, one more artifact and then we'll return. Okay, that's it. Let me just move over here. get some medical treatment. Let's take a look at what our cargo is worth. We have an infrared laser valued at 2900. We have a flame projector, an EMP bomb, and a pulse laser. So we'll cycle these into storage. Unload these, cycle these into the lab. Okay, let's launch Rover for another run. Start our research. So we've got about sixty seconds for the rover to land on the surface. I want to show you something quickly. If I select on one of these, notice that it says here, user is interactively assisting research on this sample. So if I sit here, the research will go faster for this artifact. So that's useful if you have nothing else to do. Well, right now we do have something else to do. We have to drive our rover. Rain's getting a little rough here. And I see what looks like a large structure in the distance. Now, can I safely get across here? Come on. Can I do this? Can I do this? Eh, not easy, but I'm doing it. 
There we go. What's this over here? Uh, that's more crystals. Looks like the bunk terminal is offline. Not a critical system, but I'll get to that later. Terrain's a little tricky here. And unlike Spin Tire's Mud Runner, I do not have a winch. crystals, but not a lot of derelicts yet. I see what could be a sentry over there. I want to keep my distance. Here's some derelicts I can loot. So it looks like one of our objects is encased remains. Oh, something's setting up some noise. Okay, time to recall the rover. I think enough time has gone by that I need a medical treatment. Okay, this is a good place to stop. So I'm going to pause here. Thank you very much for watching and join us next time as we continue our run through of Scavenger SV4 with an alternative equipment loadout. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.